what's up? Oh, okay, dude, you gotta see this. Dude, is this important? I mean, I really, I got a lot of- I promise, it won't take long, just just watch. Are you watching? <sighs> Fine, yeah, I'm, I'm watching. Okay. Holy crap, right? How? How? I don't know. I was just walking along this morning and I sneezed and then, and then this. Huh. I know. I'm a freaking superhero. Yeah, I mean, you look like Green Lantern meets the Power Rangers. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I mean, you look like a Power Ranger, but, you know, the animated suit, the way you transformed, it, it kind of looks like, well, you know. <sighs> you always have to ruin everything. The sketch that you just watched required four tools to create. One is DaVinci Resolve, obviously. Another is a super cool energy fire motion graphic thing that we'll talk about later. One is a crazy audio plugin from Waves Audio. And the last is quite possibly the coolest AI powered filmmaking tool ever. It's called Wonder Studio by a company called Wonder Dynamics. And before you even think to jump into the comments, no, Wonder Dynamics is not sponsoring this video. They didn't even provide me a license or a complimentary account or anything like that. In fact, unless they saw the sketch that I uploaded to Instagram, Wonder Dynamics doesn't even know I exist. That being said, this video does have a sponsor and that's Motion Array. More on them later. Okay, let's start this from the beginning. What's one of the most time-consuming tasks when it comes to visual effects? Rotoscoping, right? And what is one of the most technically challenging, not to mention expensive parts of visual effects? That would be mocap. Well, Wonder Studios is a tool that makes all of the rotoscoping and all of that mocap obsolete. Or at least that's the goal. Currently, Wonder Studios is in a closed beta and it has some limitations, but even as it is, it's pretty amazing. The concept is pretty simple. First, upload your footage. Unfortunately, you're kind of stuck with H.264 and H.265 footage, but future updates will allow you to work with ProRes and hopefully other more editing friendly codecs. Once your footage is uploaded, add it to the timeline and scrub to a frame that clearly shows your actor. Then select scan for actors. From there, Wonder Studio will scan your footage and find any actors in the frame. Once that's done, select your actor and choose your character. Motion Studio has a few character options to choose from with more on the way, but if you want, you also have the ability to upload your own rigged characters. From there, you can render the final image or export a blender scene, alpha mat, and a few other options. Now the rendering can take a while. The clip I rendered, for example, took about four hours for a one minute long 4K video. Still, once it was done, I had an animated model where I used to be, and I didn't have to do any rotoscoping or motion capture to get there. Now, the results aren't always perfect, and they seem to be completely reliant on the background of the image and the amount of motion in the video. Plus, like I said, it's still in beta. Still, the technology is super impressive and I'll definitely be paying for it once the full version is released. In the meantime, you can get on the waitlist for the private beta by clicking the link in the description of this video. Okay, so now we know how we got me to turn into this Power Ranger looking thing. Let's talk about the actual transition you saw in the sketch. Originally, I was going to just use the edge wipe transition, but then I thought, eh, Let's do more. So I headed over to today's sponsor, Motion Array. Motion Array is a huge marketplace of templates and presets for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Final Cut. They also have a bunch of professional tools like a collaboration platform for sharing projects with collaborators and clients, and a portfolio builder to help you showcase your work to potential clients. But for this video, what I needed was something to help me sell the transformation into this robot Power Ranger thing. Luckily, with Motion Array, it's super easy to find what you're looking for. All I had to do was go to footage, motion graphics, and type in energy. And I was presented with a huge list of options to choose from. So if you're looking for an endless supply of assets to help you take your projects and your professional video career to the next level, 
just click on the link in the description and check out Motion Array today. Oh, and did I mention that by clicking that link, you'll get 50 bucks off an annual plan? Thanks so much to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. And now that we have our energy wave, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and create this transition. The first thing we wanna do is create a new fusion clip out of our original footage, the clip we got from Wonder Studio, and our energy wave we got from Motion Array. Then, once we're in the fusion page, we'll change the apply mode on the merge node for the energy wave to screen. From there, we'll add a B spline to that same merge node and create a mask around our robot and soften the edges, making it look like the energy is only around the robot. Next, we'll add a transform node after our energy wave node and keyframe the position so it's moving vertically up the robot's body throughout the clip. Finally, we'll add a rectangle mask to our robot node, make it the same size as our frame, soften the edges, and keyframe the position to move along with our energy wave. Then when we play that back, we'll have a really smooth transition that shows me transforming into a robot. Now, about that robot voice. I really didn't want to keep using my normal voice when I was in robot mode. Luckily, Waves Audio has a really cool plugin called Kaleidoscope that does some really cool stuff with flangers and modulation, and it just so happens to have a preset called Robot Room, which gave me exactly what I was looking for. I'm a freaking superhero. I'll have that plugin linked below as well. And there you have it. Something that would normally take hours, maybe even days to complete was done in minutes thanks to AI. But that gets me thinking, where do you think AI is headed when it comes to the world of filmmaking? Let me know down in the comments and then go check out what I did with one of my favorite new features in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.